Talking Cheaters and proud of it. Ow, I'm sorry. It's your home for War of the Roses on Mojo in the Morning. Irina, why do you think your husband's cheating on you? I found this email um, that he sent flowers to this other girl. Really? Well, first off, how did, how did you get access to this email? Well, it's on his phone, and he doesn't have a password on his phone, so I like, looked through some of his deleted emails, and I guess he tried to delete it. Was uh, it like an email he, he wrote to somebody, or? No, it was like a receipt, like a confirmation receipt. Like he had sent flowers, and it was like the flower oh. you know, company. That oh, online. Yes. Okay. Who was the other woman that he sent flowers to? Some girl named Catherine. Some girl named Catherine, so you don't know who this girl is? No, I don't. Did it say anything like, you know, his name attached to it, like in why you sent flowers to her, or was it just a thank you for sending flowers to? Um, it just said, thank you for ordering the flowers. It has said his name as a sender and her name as a recipient. But nothing in there about what the flowers were sent for? No. That's suspicious enough. I mean, it, does he send flowers to clients for work on a regular basis? No, not for work. Okay, um, what we're going to do is we're going to do kind of a War of the Roses. Um, we know that he, he must have sent flowers if they're sending him this, but we're going to call up as that flower company to see if he'll send another dozen roses and see who he sends them to, see if he sends them to that same person. Again, what was that girl's name? Catherine. All right, and this is Irina. This is his wife, and we're hoping that we can get an answer for you on, on who this person might be. For Trevor. Yeah, this is him. Hi, Trevor. How are you doing this morning? I'm good. Good. My name is Nicole. I'm calling from. You just recently ordered flowers from us. Is that right? Uh. Yeah. Why? Well, we were our, um, so appreciative that you ordered flowers from us, and Trevor, we'd like to offer you a dozen complimentary roses to send. That's on us, so you won't be paying anything. And so I'm just calling this morning to see if you had anybody in mind that you might want to send flowers to right now. Maybe a special occasion coming up or something like that. I'm not going to get charged for this. No, we just saw that you were a first-time customer, so this is basically our way of saying thank you. Uh, if you don't have my credit card information saved, right? You're not going to charge me again? No, not at all. This is absolutely okay. free. This is totally free. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right, it's just a promotion because for a... It's, it's just a promotion that we're offering this month to everybody who ordered flowers for the first time from the holiday. Uh, all right. Okay. As long as I'm not being charged. I, yeah. pro I promise I'm not going to charge you. Did you have somebody in mind that you want, you'd want to send a dozen red roses to? That's what the floral arrangement is. Um, Irina. Irina. Okay, that's... That's a different name than I have on your account from the last bouquet of flowers that you sent. Is that correct, though? I have a Catherine listed on here. Um, a Catherine. Could you, could you go ahead and delete that name right now? Okay. Send the flowers to Irina, and could we go ahead and delete that name? Delete it from your account altogether? Yep. Trevor, I'm going to jump on the call just to grab an address and information from you so that we can get to more calls. I do have to warn you uh, and let you know that some portions of the conversation actually have been recorded. And I also just want to let you know that uh, this is actually not calling, but the Mojo in the Morning Show. And during this entire conversation that we've been having with you, Irina, your wife, has been listening. Trevor? Yeah? Irina called us up here on the Mojo on the Morning Show, War of the Roses, to find out why you were sending flowers to another woman. Um, uh, that has to be a mistake. I don't know what you're talking about. But you just told me to delete that other person's name. 
Yeah, I that shouldn't have been in there. I don't know what that was. But you okay, sent her flowers and it was on your credit card. I don't I don't know any Catherine, so I don't it must have been a mistake. Okay, but when must Shannon just mentioned it, you didn't say What's, I don't know what, who that is. Yeah, or... what's that charge? Why am I paying for that? You sounded like you knew who she was. Look, I don't... I wasn't expecting a call from... I don't know what the deal was. I just didn't want to be charged for anything. They asked me for free flowers. I said, yes, I'll send them to my wife. Irina's listening to this right now. And what are you thinking, Irina? Who is... Trevor... There is no Catherine. There's no Catherine. I heard you. You said delete her name off the account. She's a woman from work who's had a rough time. I didn't want to tell you about it because I didn't want you to overreact. Just wanted to send her flowers. She had her father passed away. Thought it'd be a nice gesture. But why did you just say you didn't know anybody named Catherine then? Why didn't you just come right out and, and say that to Irina? I don't know. I just felt on the spot. It's weird. Trevor, you, you sound like you, you're, you're lying to us. <laughs> She's nobody. That's all I can say. Okay. That's all I'm going to say. Irina, hold on. I want to. I want to hear what you have to say about this. Okay. Call us. Call us. Call us. Eight four four Mojo Live. Eight four four six six five six five four eight. This is Mojo in the morning. Irina, do you believe this? I don't know. Trevor, maybe we should actually get Catherine on with us and or at least on with Irina and have her explain that her family's been going through tough times. All right. Yeah. Can you go do Go ahead. I mean, that's supposed to say what I said. Can you give us her phone number? Yeah. All right. Why don't we take your phone take her phone number and we will find out exactly what the deal is, okay? Yeah. Hey, Rag. Yeah. What's up, buddy? What'd you want to say about this? Well, I'll tell you what. You know, it's like as soon as he heard that name, instantly he wanted that name taken off the account. Exactly. He did not yeah. want that name out there. He wanted that name gone. And then when asked about that name, well, I, I don't know that person. I don't know who did. And then he come back with, it's like it took him a while to think about, oh, I'll think up this story. He's yeah. got the excuse. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's got the excuse, but doesn't match his reaction. Oh, yeah, this guy should go out and buy some tap dancing shoes because he is definitely <laughs> doing a dance. The, the thing that's weird, too, is I don't think these people realize when you're cheating like this, if you're cheating, you're throwing stuff on credit cards or you're doing things online like that. Yeah, there's proof right there. It's called paper trail, you yeah. morons. Hey, what's up? Hi, what's going on? Is this Shara? Shara. Shara, what's up? Hi. I just wanted to give some advice for Irina. Yes. Um, you know, not to be fooled by this guy. I work in an office full of guys. I'm the only female. And I've been through so many different tragic things in the past two years. But they know that I'm with somebody, you know, and they would never cross the line and buy me flowers. So that's very suspicious. Yeah, so you so in that whole work thing is weird, too, because I agree with you. Maybe, Shannon, you know, something's going on just because mm -hmm. we work so closely with each other on the air and talk about each other's personal lives. But somebody in the office here, I don't think I'm sending yeah, stuff to it, it either. So bad. I don't know. So there's no there's no number. The numbers okay. the number he gave us for the girl. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, hmm. This is the, they're hold on a second. They're on hold right now talking. Let me pick up the phone okay. liners. Trevor, are you completely lying to us? Because we also got a phone call from somebody who says they work with you, that said that there's nobody in there in your office that's by the name of Catherine. Thought so, huh? Hmm. Okay. Bullshit. I don't believe you. Now let's recap you on what uh, is happening here with the War of the Roses. Now I'll take some calls. This is the home of the War of the Roses.
Mojo in the morning. During this entire conversation that we've been having with you, Irina, your wife, has been listening. Trevor, are you still there? Yeah. Trevor, Irina called us up here on the Mojo in the Morning Show, War of the Roses, to find out why you were sending flowers to another woman. Um, uh, that has to be a mistake. I don't know what you're talking about. But you just told me to delete that other person's name. Yeah, I, that shouldn't have been in there. I don't know what that was. But okay, you sent but her flowers and it was on your credit card. I don't... I don't know any Catherine, so I don't... It must have been a mistake. Okay, but when Shannon just mentioned it, you didn't say... I don't know what, who that is. Yeah, or... what's that charge? Why am I paying for that? You sounded like you knew who she was. Look, I don't... I wasn't expecting a call from... I don't know what the deal was. I just didn't want to be charged for anything. If they asked me for free flowers, I said, yes, I'll send them to my wife. Irina's listening to this right now. And what are you thinking, Irina? Who is Trevor? There is no Catherine. There's no Catherine. I heard you. You said delete her name off the account. She's a woman from work. Who's had a rough time? <laughs> that was, by the way, the quickest turnaround. <laughs> uh, the War of the Roses, uh, Mojo in the Morning here. Andrea, hi. Hi. So he sends flowers to this other girl, denies that there's even another girl, and then comes back, and now she's some woman that works with him. What did you want to say? Um, I think he knows this Catherine chick, but I don't think he's or she's in his life anymore. I think he might have had an affair with her, and now it's over, and he's pissed about it. That's why she, he doesn't want her name on the account anymore, because she probably lost him. So you think it's you think it's not a long-term relationship? It's a short-term thing? I think so. I think because there's so much denial, a lot of these guys will just, you know, come back and say, yeah, okay, I did something. But I think there is no Catherine anymore because she probably left him when he, she found out he was married. Yeah, it could be. Uh, Barbara's mad at us. Why are you mad at us? Well, because first of all, I know you think that all men are liars and cheaters and dogs, and I just don't believe that. To me, he sounded... Wait a minute. You know what? Before I start yelling at you guys, <laughs> I have to say, I do love Mojo in the morning. Thank you. <laughs> Thank my you. absolutely favorite. And Spike, I love you too. Now, back to what I was saying. <laughs> okay. Everybody is not a freaking cheater. Right. You know what I mean? To me, it sounded like he was telling the truth. I wouldn't tell you my personal business. Is that? It's enough. He told you everything Everything that he said. And then when his wife got on the phone, then he explained who Catherine was. Now, I wouldn't give you her phone number so you can call her on the radio station and get all her personal business. Her father died. All right. <laughs> it's just very, it's just very, I mean, you have to think it's kind of funny. You guys are always thinking everybody is a cheater. No, but I we think get, that... We definitely give people the, be, the benefit of the doubt, Barbara, but I think that when when you say that you don't know somebody, which he did at first, and then all of a sudden he was like, well, I, I she is somebody that I work with, and then we find out that there's nobody at his workplace with that name, you have to get a little suspicious, And Barbara, right? we, don't look, we don't listen to what they say as much as how they say it. Right. And that's okay, where the clues say, are. When he changes his story and go, stumbles go on Go ahead, her. Barbara. What else would you like to say? Let me say this much. Yes, he didn't tell the people that at Flower.com that uh, explained who the girl was. You know what I mean? But then when his wife got on the phone, he said, well, Catherine is this girl. Maybe he just don't want to tell her because she's really jealous. It's obviously she couldn't just ask him. They don't have the type of relationship to where she can go and say, hey, I found this on your credit card. Who is this? And then he would tell her. Or maybe he wouldn't. If he just Barbara, you are call, a beautiful human being. I love oh, you God. for the fact that you listen to us, but I think that you are completely gullible. Yeah. I think you guys need too. a little bit more church in your life and believe that everybody <laughs> <laughs> Well, that I'll agree with. Yeah. <laughs> well, look, like I said before, I love you guys, so keep doing your thing. But just remember what I said. Some people are honest. Barbara. Yeah. 
Pray for us, okay? I definitely, definitely will. I listen to you every day on my way to work. So as long as you're there, I'm safe. So I definitely pray for you. <laughs> All right. I love you. Thanks, take care, Barbara. Take care of yourself. Thanks right. so much. Have a great day, you guys. Take Bye-bye. care.